this lesson, we'll look at Open Up 7th Grade Unit 4, Lesson 2, Dealing with Ratios and Rates with Fractions. So today's goal is I can solve problems about ratios of fractions and decimals. So you know that there are 12 inches in one foot. And do you remember unit rates? We talked a good bit about that if we divide 12 inches by one foot, we can find that there are 12 inches per foot. If we divide one foot by 12 inches, we can determine that there is one twelfth of a foot per inch. The units are always going to stay in the same order in which you divide. So let's calculate some rates with fractions. Even when we have fractions and ratios, we're always allowed to use division to find the unit rates. So if I tell you that a runner runs three quarters of a mile in 11 halfs minutes, and I ask you how many miles can the runners run in one minute, I want you to think about which order you would divide in. So if we're looking at how many miles in a minute, we're going to do miles per minute, or do the miles divided by the minutes. So in this case, you would want to do 3 fourths divided by 11 halves. Remember that when you divide, you can keep the first number the same and change division to a multiplication sign and then multiply by your reciprocal. So instead of 11 halves, write 2 elevenths. And when multiplying fractions, we can multiply straight across. So the numerator times the numerator, 3 times 2 will give you 6, and the denominator, 4 times 11, will give you 44. And we couldn't reduce 6 fourths to equal 3 20 seconds. So this gives us our unit rate of miles per minute, so the runner can run 3 20 seconds of a mile per minute. Okay, what other rate could you find in here? We already did miles per minute. Okay, you also may want to know how many minutes it will take to run one mile. So if I want to do minutes per mile, we're going to divide in the order that's the minutes number divided by the miles number. So you're going to want to do 11 halves divided by 3 fourths. Again, exact same process for division. Multiply by the reciprocal, so keep 11 halves, multiply by 4 thirds, and multiply straight across. So we'll get 44 sixths or 22 thirds. Huh. So the runner's pace is 22 thirds minutes per mile. Are you surprised that these two values are reciprocals? All right, so I want you to think about how do the strategies compare to ways we have solved ratio problems that didn't involve fractions. I want you to notice that they're very similar. We're doing the exact same thing, but the math here just might take you some more time. So do you feel like you can solve problems about ratios of fractions and decimals?